Little Fox. The Tale of Benjamin Bunny, Episode One. The farmer goes to town. Benjamin Bunny sat by the road. <sighs> clop, 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 clop. A horse walked along the road. The horse was pulling a wagon. It's the farmer and his wife, thought Benjamin. They are going to town. Benjamin smiled. I'll find my cousin Peter. Benjamin ran to Peter's tree. He peeked inside. Mrs. Rabbit was knitting. I don't want to see her, thought Benjamin. He saw Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. Where's Peter? thought Benjamin. He went to the other side of the tree. He crawled down a hole. And there was Peter. He was wearing a red handkerchief. He looked sad. Peter! said Benjamin. What happened to you? Where are your clothes? Peter sniffed. I lost them in the farmer's garden. I went there yesterday. The farmer chased me. I have good news, said Benjamin. The farmer and his wife went to town. We can look for your clothes. The Tale of Benjamin Bunny, Episode 2, The Scarecrow. Benjamin and Peter walked through the woods. At last, they saw a stone wall. The farmer's garden, said Peter. The two rabbits climbed onto the wall. Peter gasped. Oh, look at that scarecrow. It's wearing my jacket and shoes. Let's get them back, said Benjamin. I don't know, said Peter. We'll be fine, said Benjamin. He grabbed a pear tree. Then he slid down into the garden. Peter followed. Benjamin and Peter ran to the scarecrow. Peter took his shoes off the scarecrow. Water poured out of them. I guess it rained last night, he said. <laughs> Peter took off the handkerchief. He put on his jacket. My jacket shrank in the rain, he said. The scarecrow was also wearing a hat. Benjamin tried on the hat. It's much too big, he said. That's the farmer's hat said Peter. 
He looked around nervously. We should leave now, said Peter. No, said Benjamin. I want to get some onions. The Tale of Benjamin Bunny Episode 3 A Walk in the Garden Benjamin held up Peter's handkerchief. We can carry onions in this, said Benjamin. He put it on the ground. Benjamin went into an onion patch. He pulled up an onion. Shloop. This is a nice one, said Benjamin. He pulled up another onion. Peter looked around. His nose wiggled. Benjamin pulled up more onions. He rolled them onto the handkerchief. Let's go, said Peter. This garden isn't safe. It's fine, said Benjamin. I come here all the time with father. He ate a lettuce leaf. Mmm, said Benjamin. Yummy! Benjamin walked deeper into the garden. Peter grabbed the handkerchief. He ran after his cousin. What was that noise? asked Peter. Is the farmer coming? It's nothing, said Benjamin. Benjamin kept walking. Peter followed. They walked past flower pots and garden tools. Suddenly, Benjamin <gasps> gasped. I see a cat! He and Peter slipped under a basket. They waited. Sniff, 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 sniff. The cat jumped onto the basket. Then she sat down. The Tale of Benjamin Bunny Episode 4 The Cat and the Basket The cat sat on the basket. When will she leave? whispered Benjamin. Father will be looking for me. These onions smell awful whispered Peter. Tears filled his eyes. The cat did not leave. She sat on the basket for five hours. At last, they heard something. Benjamin? Someone called. That's father, whispered Benjamin. The cat looked up at the wall. Suddenly, a large rabbit jumped down. Wham! He kicked the cat. Wham! He pushed her inside the greenhouse. Then, bang! He locked the door. Benjamin's father lifted the basket. You are in big trouble, Benjamin, he said.
Later that day, the farmer returned from town. What happened? He cried. Small footprints were everywhere. The scarecrow's clothes were gone. And the cat was locked in the greenhouse. Mrs. Rabbit was upset with Peter. But she was glad to see him. You're safe, Peter, she said. And you got your clothes back.